<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man is called Sam, yeah? Richard. This man is called Richard, not Sam. <laughs> Where did I get Sam from, Richard? Richard, thank you. It's lovely meeting you here today. We are here with Rob. King Nan. Save a life, ditch a knife. I am the Javits Sands Happy Club, and you are? Uh, my name is from Wonder Wardens for the Council for Colchester. I wondered if we could grab a little interview with you about the Knife Angel, the effect it's having, and what people can get from it and what people can do. Could you share some of that with us, please, Richard? Um, certainly. So the main reason it's here is to make like, people aware of the effects that it has in the community. So one of my main jobs is when I'm here like, in a like, work role is to let people know like with the crime, it's never just a perpetrator and a victim. You've got to think both those have families, all of them have friends. It affects the entire community whenever a crime is like, done. And even carrying a knife is never a good idea because it can come with a five year prison sentence. And if you were to ever defend yourself, even though you think you're defending your life, you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. So it's never worth even carrying a knife. But that is such a good way of looking at it. So I never thought about that. So the people that actually have become victims of knife crime, it's not just them, it's their families, their relatives, their loved ones, their children, their nans, their granddads, all of them are affected. Exactly. So, so many people can be affected. Yeah. And what's, wow. Although this is a really impressive sculpture, the thing that yes. scares me Go on. is the fact that there's a hundred thousand knives each one of these would have been carried by somebody before they were handed in so when you look at it in that capacity and you think more into it hundred thousand hundred thousand knives um surrendered i think by 49 different police capacity like scary so one of the things we've got here is we've got a knife um knife bin, bin that people yep. can surrender we've also got permanent ones in place that are by the police station and yep. also in the military police station that are permanent fixtures that's phenomenal so, People can drop them off there, no questions asked. No questions asked, no? No. And do you know roughly how many have been handed in a year, even I in this area, roughly? don't have that figure on me, but yeah. um, I do It's know, a lot. Yeah, it's um, not as much as other areas, yes. but obviously it is still a problem within this area. We do have nice crime that has affected yeah. like, the public massively. As you just heard from Richards, there's a lot of incentives why you shouldn't carry a knife. You will get five years just for carrying it. You think you're defending yourself, but there's people, there's victims everywhere. Exactly. So your advice and everybody's advice is to stop carrying knives. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, one of the other things that will make you Go on. think is that if you look on the other side of this fence, yes. all of these hearts tend to be messages for people who've lost loved ones. Should we go around and look at them next? Yeah, sure. We're going to make another video right now, me and Richard. Let's just start. Thank you, Richard. Let me just start another one. One, two, three.